Hello, welcome to the Safe Third Podcast. Today's a very special episode because we're all wearing hats. Yay! <laughs> Isn't that cool? We switched yeah. things up a little bit. Yeah, it feels fresh, you know. I it think does. we really needed this. <laughs> um, Alan has a, a snake sna- <laughs> for the audio listeners. He's got a snake wrapped around his neck. Um, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> well, it's kind of my hand now. More, It's not just a snake. It's kind of like part of oh yeah me he shoved he's, there's a slit in the snake's throat and he's got his hands shoved <laughs> deep into the snake's head he fully embraced it's the snake meta one yeah, of the most snake disgusting things i've ever seen <laughs> anyways our, we have a very special guest today do you want to me. introduce yourself yeah it's, it's her <laughs> you know her you love her no. audrey ember round of applause just no, applause no. <laughs> i'm going to leave I was gonna say just keep going. No. <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> for like five minutes. How close do I have to be to this? Uh, I think you have to eat it. Yeah, you basically oh, have to okay. shoot. We should lean back uh, though. More lean comfortable. Off. Lean back. I'm gonna fall off this chair if what I lean back. What episode is this we're somehow still really bad? <laughs> <laughs> I always, I think like, is that how, is that really how we? Yeah, I mean, I th- it's, it's uh, practice makes perfect, but we've been practicing being bad. <laughs> so. How many episodes are you guys on? Third, 40? 38. 38? Wow. Nice. Wow. I think we need to get to 100 before we can be good. Be then there's okay. no more excuses after 10,000 hours makes you a master. And if yeah. we've only done We need 10,000 episodes. We barely have a day of experience. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, really What a day. Now it's like, what do I, what do you, what do we talk about next? You know, we got I, maybe, maybe good podcasts. Maybe they plan it out and we don't do that. I think they no. probably have like questions and stuff for the guests ahead of time. Okay. Oh yeah. I, I got a good question for you. What should we talk about? On yeah, there we go. As you as a guest. Uh, <laughs> Nigel's curate dolphin. Oh, what My does what? that mean? I My said what? Nigel's curate dolphin. Oh, no. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't French, speak French. French, 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 no. French. No, this is a... We can just move on. No. No, this is a just reference to... Yeah, no. okay, whatever. We don't <laughs> what? What? No, what? I'm the one who's supposed to say what. What? <laughs> it's a reference to what we were talking before. Oh, your butt. It's... Saying yes. my ass is on fire. My ass is not on fire for all. No, listeners. let's talk about Nigel's stomach problem. <laughs> yeah. Love. Oh my god. Yes. That's a good talk segue. About Nigel's stomach problem. What was he gonna order? Breakfast? Welcome. <laughs> uh, I think Nigel's gonna eat chicken McNuggets. Yeah, that's just sheer laziness. Wait, did so, we order food? I did order food. Uh, you know, McDonald's. Food? McDonald's would have been here. You can't say McDonald's. They don't sponsor us. They sponsor offline TV and all their Do adventures, they? but they don't sponsor us, so we're not allowed to talk about McDonald's. Oh, okay, yeah. But that could change. I know that McDonald's watches this yeah. podcast. If it changes, then you could say that I am I would be loving it. Is that still, <laughs> no. is that still, is that still their jingle? I would be loving it. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm really tempted to say things that would make a corporate person like mad, but also that would ruin the chances of actually getting sponsored. Because if McDonald's came to us and said, do you want to be sponsored by McDonald's? I would definitely say yes. <laughs> I, I mean, think, that would be awesome. I think this have, is more convincing. You're giving them marketing ideas. Have we ever been sponsored? <laughs> Once. <laughs> by who? Wait, how'd you guys not? I don't remember. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow what? money well spent for that sponsor whoever they were <laughs> just put it over in like a robot voice i'm just trying to pay my bill <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though whenever whenever i take a sponsorship i do try my best to ensure that it is like it feels like a good product Right, right. So if I did ever endorse it, I, I meant it. <laughs> I meant it. it must have been. It in might the have been a slight exaggeration, <laughs> but <laughs> I, uh, I've never done a Raid Shadow Legends ad. Right. But that's a great game. Oh. <laughs> I did a, uh, I did one, why are we talking about this? We'll have questions for you to say. Like, <laughs> we do just, this every day. Just completely <laughs> ignore the guest. No, this is great. I <laughs> I met I met Audrey Ember at a party oh in God. Santa Monica, and little did I know that she is actually one of the most famous people you've never heard of. Because <laughs> Michael Superbacker followed me. 
Mr. Beast follows you on Twitter. Does he really? So, how does so that... why? <laughs> like, there's so, so no big deal. Wow. Follow me. You have been at every single YouTube. I have. I go to. I'm like a leech. I just show up. And yeah, don't I know go why. to events like like YouTube events where you feel like, oh, I must be special to get into this. And, and Alan had there. What, what does that mean? No, and Alan had because, to work really hard to get there and like beg, and then he just shows yeah. up. Well, yeah, you get invited on and then wow. immediately roasted. Yeah. Oh well, wait, it wasn't immediately. I'm, I'm not surprised. Yeah. To be honest. <laughs> Continue, Alan. Well, I, so I mean, I think it's just it's it's like if you haven't heard of Audrey Ember, then you're you're a loser. you're missing out. Yeah. <laughs> you're just a loser. I wanted to I have an end to that. I, the reason the reason I asked you to come on is because I would like to know or to <laughs> talk about because you you got you basically helped make the Superbacker video. Yeah. For Alan and and. I think it would be interesting to hear about what the experience was like trying Chaos. to deal with us. <laughs> oh, outsider's perspective. Oh, in general? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. What it did you fun. think of the, the overall process? I thought it was fun. Yeah? Yeah. Fun. I don't really know what I expected. It was very, like, chaotic and random. Was it, was it fun. M more cohesive or less cohesive than <laughs> Honestly, you Honestly, it was more cohesive really? than I thought. I think we're, like... <laughs> That's just you guys exceeded expectations. That's insane to me that 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 entire thing was more cohesive. We are I mean, professionals. Like how, how cohesive can it be? <laughs> right, right. Like what? Yeah. I think I don't that was know. an insult. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's a backhanded compliment. Oh yeah, I'll, yeah. That's fine. I'll take one. Of those. I think you guys bounce off each other well. Oh, that's good. I think that's big. Because you work with you work with some other YouTube people. Are we the what? How would Most you cohesive. how would you rate us compared to the? other I mean, people? I don't work with that many. I haven't worked with people shooting like that before. Yeah, it's so random. Plus, I'm losing. I'm not losing. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> losing <clients. laughs> I'm not losing. They're ending. They're leaving. <laughs> They're, They're just they're, going away. A, uh, you could call it a help. downward no. spiral, <laughs> if you will. It's like Nathan yeah. Few complaining that all the people he's helped have their businesses shut no. down. <laughs> <laughs> You're going out of business. Yeah, everyone's everyone's business yeah, is falling apart after I held up. No, it's ending. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I do lots of random stuff. Who puts? Who gives you credit in the description of videos? Everyone. Okay, well then we can talk do about you who give, you work for. You I mean, Alan? Lewis. You work for Lewis wife sometimes. Yes. Yeah. And a dude called Bob the Canadian. Bob the Canadian. He makes English videos. He's awesome. I Wait, about Bob. like English? Like how to speak it? Mm -hmm. He's like, he's the most wholesome dude. He lives in the middle of nowhere in Canada. And he makes English lessons. And he has like a mill now. He makes English lessons in English? Mm -hmm. So it's like trying to... Teach English. In English. In English. Yes. But what if you don't speak English? Well, it's like well, very then you It's like practicing it. English. <laughs> I don't know. I like I worked for Epidemic doing random stuff. Epidemic now that's Sound? Done. Yeah. Like promotional stuff as well? Mm hmm Oh, wait. Was that TikTok? I did TikTok. I did a an advertisement for them. And then I did what else? a music video recently. Nice. But that's all done now, so. Are we allowed to say <laughs> that you've done work for Discovery Channel? Are we, we can cut that out if we're not allowed to say that. I don't know. I think you can say it. I think you, just, you can. You can't say what it is. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. What's it like working for a giant television company? Scary. I told the dude, like, I was like, when before he hired me, because they wanted something cheaper. Mm. And I was like, I've never done this before. You do know that. And they're like, He's yeah, like, well, yep. that, that's the price is yeah. right. <laughs> Welcome that aboard. is actually <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> that is, that is... <laughs> That's a no. Thing. It I mean, is kind of. I, I don't want to say bad things. I it's been great. I'll say bad things. I say this <laughs> as someone great. who I'm, is just... about to be on a television show on Discovery <laughs> no. Channel. They're just cheap. Yeah. Like the, Like you would think that this yeah. giant company that like merged with Warner Brothers would have like this sort of like massive <laughs> budget to yeah. just make things happen. Well, they do. You just can't have any of it. They're stingy. <laughs> yeah. Like they will not. And so that means like like if they're editing a show, they're like, oh, well, let's see. Uh, how are we gonna How are we gonna bring the budget down <laughs> on this? Never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't. Did we ever talk about this? Like the idea of like like you know businesses are just like this is like a some can i say bean counting is that does that have any you can say bean counting i feel like someone's gonna say that has some bad history. you've already said it yeah okay i'm gonna you've say already said it. i'm gonna say bean counting and i'm oblivious to any negative connotation at the phrase bean. but are you is. the fact that you're aware <sighs> okay let me look it up <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, what's okay. a synonym for non offensive synonym for bean? Rice. Rice counting. <laughs> oh, that's worse. That somehow. It's still the same. That's worse. <laughs> okay, it's in uh, Merriam Webster, so. Uh, Must it's be okay. Not Financial. <laughs> well, maybe Merriam Webster is somehow <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there are racist words in the dictionary, you know? Yeah, I just feel Wait, like really? any of these old, like, what would you call what would you call bean counting? Like, how would you describe, like, what is. Stingy. It, well, that's also it's bad. stingy, but like, no, stingy is fine. I think, I think <laughs> the word stingy. Uh, the idea of like every business is essentially bean counting, right? Because that's mm. the whole point of a business is to make money. Yeah. And so like, there's something really cursed about the creative industry because everybody sees the creative side of things, but it's completely like regulated by bean counting. And so mm. it's essentially like, imagine there's no such thing as creativity. It's just someone with a spreadsheet mm. looking at finances and they're just like, okay, we have this much money to do this thing. So we're going to pay creative people this much money, but we're going to run out of money. So then we need to pay this person even less money. And so it's like the creative side essentially is just getting like strangled to death yeah. by people who are just trying to make money. But then everyone sees the creative side. They're like, oh, I want to do that. I want to do art. I want to do this. And then you have like an entire like, you know, business sphere that's just like, like <laughs> do it as quickly and cheaply as possible. And, you know, not really exploring like the art side of things. Yeah. It's I also think, TV I, though. Yeah. I feel like running out of ideas. They've been running out of ideas forever. <laughs> like, I don't think that's mean to say. I think that's just a fact. No. Yeah. I mean, it's a, the, especially for kind of like the, the science, educational, whatever you want to call it space. It's like, I think more and more, it's actually like kind of pulling ideas out of YouTube rather than the other way around. Mm -hmm. Once Mythbusters was done. That was like that, that was, was like the it. End. That was like it because then it was like, oh, well, what do we do? Oh, well, let's look at these viral video clips online, and then like, what, a if, lot we, of time what if we do ours. Mythbusters again? What if we did it again yeah. and again just girls. and again <laughs> and again <laughs> and again? <laughs> what if we make a show about making a new Mythbusters no. before we make a Mythbusters? <laughs> That's a good idea. What if we do Mythbusters? It. But it's kids. You know what they do? They need Mythbusters, but with geriatrics. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Mythbusters Senior. Yeah, I would actually. That's probably no, the only thing they could great. do to like. <laughs> I would get cable just for <laughs> Wow. You hearing this Discovery? This is all free. I know Discovery Channel himself watches this. <laughs> Mr. Podcast. Discovery Channel. Mr. Discovery. Just like uh, Justin Roiland for sure watches oh my this God, podcast, yes. right? Justin, if you're hearing this. Then this is the official petition to get Nile Red. Oh no! Because Nigel can't do these Wait. things. He's a little ball of social anxiety. So we can't do these. We things. were sent. I, I think somebody sent. I don't think we'd never come across this stuff. It's always people sending us. Right, right, a right. A picture of Justin Roiland, who's the the creator of Rick and Morty, or I should say, he Doc is, and Marty. He is Rick and Morty. <laughs> he is a lot of people Rick. don't know that. He yeah. is Rick and Morty. Yeah, it's really. It's the power of. Uh, voice acting and television, movie magic. So yeah, it turns out that uh, Rick oh, is yeah, real and Morty is real. Oh yeah, it was on the TV before. No copyright anymore. But uh, he was wearing a Nile red shirt in a was it Wired? It was a Wired interview. interview yeah. Both and it was wired. prominently wired. too. It was like a prominent Nile red logo. Well, it was like my because I have two T-shirts. One where it's like just a little logo, and then one that's like. Looks like a giant like Superman thing. Now he's just selling his merch. What a freaking <laughs> gross. What well, a it's disgusting not even for sale, man. so you can't even buy it. <laughs> so. Whoa. Well, now it's exclusive. He's trying to hype it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm preparing for the next drop. He's trying to why. build like a supreme empire where everything is just got a brick with <laughs> Nile, Nile Red. red <laughs> no, we just did, uh, Nile red brick. We did a run, I think, like six months ago and then just haven't done anything. So that's why it's not available. So, I mean, but you... you I think. I mean, would you be a character, like a cameo on the show? Would you do that? If I, will they were take, like... I will take anything that's given to me. <laughs> oh, you heard it here first. Nigel will take it. <laughs> yeah, anything. I will take anything. Justin Roiland. <laughs> <laughs> Nile Red will take anything. <laughs> Now's your chance. <laughs> This is so weird that you're just like, <laughs> right? It's just like you guys are all. How else is this gonna happen, though? How else are we gonna make this happen? Making it worse. Yeah, you're way. definitely. <laughs> just clip this and send it to him. <laughs> you guys are like turn the podcast into like a personal message. Does, do, okay, so have you talked to him at all? Does he actually watch your videos, or does he just like the the logo? <laughs> I don't know. Why you're <laughs> yeah. like, like, Whoa! I don't like, know what Nile Red is, like, but this no. logo is sick. Yeah, exactly. It's a sick logo. I'm gonna get that. <laughs> Honestly, like I mean, it sounds like something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> you just like the T-shirt, so you buy it, and then you're just like, oh, <laughs> yeah. people think it means something. Yeah. 
he probably he definitely watches your stuff. Well, I talked to him a bit. I just where do you talk to him on Instagram? Mm. Instagram. So he probably if he if it's Instagram, he probably watches your YouTube videos. I say if it was TikTok, maybe not. But <laughs> yeah. TikTok is kind of its own little bubble. Yeah, TikTok's interesting. But what yeah. are the secrets to TikTok? Why am I asking you this? You're the one. With the yeah, fuck. what are the secrets? Oh, me TikTok. and Nigel actually were, we were discussing. We, we're running out of time. You should to ask make him TikTok. for a secret. What? <laughs> About TikTok? Yeah, he gets a bajillion views on TikTok. Nigel has a formula for success. <laughs> And we've been, we've wanted to test this to see if it actually it works, works. It doesn't so work or if it's just it's chemistry just, videos. It's just Nigel's channel. <laughs> Nigel's the only one who can make it work. So it's, it's like basically the, the challenge was we we're like, okay, Nigel, like if you got this formula for success, could you do a video, a short form video on 3D printing? Because it's like inherently boring to just watch things be 3D printed. And we have an outline for one actually. Involves a lot of penis jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sound like whatever formula he uses for the rest no, of his. No, Nigel, like, if you see his shorts, there's a lot of weird sexual stuff in there. <laughs> Can we like, talk about that one, that thirsty short with the ice cube that that girl made? <laughs> the, the, oh, yeah, Audrey's going to have to help what? us with this as a resident woman what? guest on the today's podcast. I can't believe you agreed to come on <laughs> to the podcast. <laughs> me neither. Because there it. is a thing about women and hands. I've so, seen that. Is this true? Female gaze. Mean? It's very hand oriented. Oh, like we look at your yeah, as like as like the things that are <laughs> if you're ha if you have a movie or a video that is like sexy for women, it usually has a focus on like the man's hands. So there's this TikTok. <laughs> Chelsea's, Chelsea's like, making a face that's not hairy. a disagreement face. I never thought about like that, but like when you're moving your hands, I'm interested. <gasps> oh, <laughs> Chelsea no. was looking at my hands. No. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna stare. All <laughs> I'm, ha I'm, ha I'm oh, hand you sick. Per, I have low. Don't look I'm at our hands. I'm being objectified. I have low hands. Don't look at. Yeah, mad. don't look at our hands. That's gross. I think yeah. hands are scary, so I can't relate. Why can't I? You think hands are scary? Movie, um, God, what's that one? I'm gonna say a horror movie with a girl, where she's deaf and she's locked in a house in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I oh, think. Uh, uh, hush. Yes, yeah. and she gets her hand squished in the door. And then her hands like all messed up. Ever since then, I hate hands. I can't do it. You know that hands. No, shouldn't you hate doors then? Yeah. Why do you hate? Why hands? would you hate <laughs> hands? Because they looked like yeah, weird and like broken. Not the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> no, it's a, yeah, yeah. Because okay, they look sense. like all squished and like. Yeah, but yours and normal up. hands don't look like that. I know, but it doesn't matter. All right, here. Let me. I'll tell. Let me tell you. That, that's, okay, wait. Let's, let's that, look at this TikTok. I got it up now. I had to log into TikTok really quick. I had to remember my password. <laughs> You're um, giving a so, big shout out to so, this TikTok. <laughs> Nigel, Nigel made, yes, they made like a perfectly round ice hands. ball. And all this is, I'm just going to let you watch it, but I got to describe it for the viewers yeah. and the, the listeners. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like caressing Wait. this ice ball with his hand, kind of like slowly. And then, the, and then the implication is, I think that this girl is, is very, there's something about the way that he was like moving. Does that make sense? Do you understand why? Is this arousing? It doesn't make no. sense. No. <laughs> Just a flat no. Show, show it to Chelsea. Okay, Chelsea, does this make any sense? Yeah, this this kind of I'm not hand, hand wet ball. hand action. So he's just he's playing with his ice ball. <laughs> My, I mean, he's like slowly <laughs> kind of squishing it around in his hand. What do you think, Chelsea? It definitely is a little sexual. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's sexual. No, it is. Okay, why though? It's the it's, silence. It's it's a silence and it almost looks slimy, so <laughs> it's giving I'm not gonna say anything else, but you. Oh no! <laughs> no. Nigel, what have you done? <laughs> it's because when I saw the video, I'm like, I don't. Kevin and I are like, we don't get it. <laughs> but it works. Nigel has no idea. But this is a, this is like subconscious chat. Yeah. <laughs> this is why you have so many simps. You know what I did when I filmed that part? You know when you see those videos online of people who have like they manipulate like the glass balls? Oh yeah, yeah. Contact juggling. That's that's uh, literally what I thought. That's not what they're thinking. <laughs> no. no. That's all I thought. I was like, oh, it's so cool. It's like those glass balls. Wait, is this why people follow you on TikTok? Apparently. <laughs> Nigel, out of everyone, has probably the craziest simps. Maybe really? Alex, I did a thing, but like Nigel no, and him are no, like. No, no, no. It's Nigel. No, by what far. About, no, there's just something about case. Nigel. Okay, Look. can we, can I, I, I don't, this is, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say this. The, the simps that I see for Nigel that are the most aggressive, it's like 
they want to like dominate him. <laughs> yeah. Oh like, no. There's this like Buck very wild. yes, like there's that one. Mm-hmm, that's my favorite yeah. one. My favorite. I don't one. even know how to describe that one. Here, I can I can play the Alan. TikTok into the microphone. I love reading into this too. The <laughs> fact that they know that we've get seen worse these. Now. Oh yeah, them. yeah. Nigel, just just be aware, Sims, that Nigel has seen all of your thirsty TikToks and, and if you make more of them. Not that. Now they're going to do Alan, more. Alan, Alan seeks them out. We send them to him. They seek them out. <laughs> it's in your favorites. Wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. By, I just realized, bikes. If you guys are all searching me up constantly on TikTok, you guys are part of that simp. Army. We are. Yeah. Yeah. We are. Oh, it army. In the <laughs> are you in the Nile Red Simp Army? No, sorry. You should Damn. be. <laughs> Damn. Are you Chelsea? <laughs> Damn. Are you Ian? Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> Like foaming at the mouth, rabies, give me a rabies shot, barrel for the stick. <laughs> what? I would go buck wild. <laughs> Just so we're clear, I would go feral for the stick. Like, hey, it's pictures of him. It's what? Yeah. Yeah. The stick. I would go buck wild. Fuck wild. Nigel, 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 Nigel. Yeah, this is Nigel. <laughs> They're gonna be so happy about their <laughs> shout out or so embarrassed, I don't know. Oh well, no. let's make sure. Let's make sure that they they for sure know it is uh at Jean no. G E N E on TikTok. <laughs> Making the it so ultimate much worse. Nigel Nile Red Simp. We have to give credit. Yeah, we have Just to. Just put yeah, it in to. big letters. <laughs> Link it in the description. <laughs> No. But I, I liked it and I commented on it. So you she, did. They they know. That is true. <laughs> I just I love how aggressive it is. Like I I have never seen I don't see like, there is nobody else I know. Who would you simp for on TikTok? If anyone. Um, I don't watch people. Come on, give us some interesting <laughs> answers. Answer, answer this uh, very invasive and inappropriate question. If, Audrey, no. if you don't answer this quickly and perfectly, you're kicked off the podcast. Yeah. Caesar Milan. Yeah. Caesar Milan, yes. <laughs> Just because we brought him up yesterday. Dog whisper. Oh, that's a, that's yes. A cop out. Do, we, do we have a contact for Caesar Milan by any chance? Okay, yeah. They, I no, wanna... this, this is the contact attempt right he, now. I know right he now. watches uh, Yeah, Caesar, we know you listen to this podcast. <laughs> so uh, right now, Alan Pan wants you to be in a video Who's about snakes. Just That's clip me. it and okay. tweet it at him. So we, we need your That's dog expertise way. for a video about s- giving snakes their legs back. <laughs> what could he possibly be doing right now? He, he he's has a, a YouTuber YouTube now. Oh, he totally would do he it. He has like two and a half million yeah. subscribers. He has more subscribers than I do. <laughs> okay, then he's, he has Perfect. just no, there's no chance. No, there's no, no, no chance. He's going to reject you, your good. collab offer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gets rejected by Caesar. Because it's like, like, it's literally the cameo would be like one second long. The idea you is can, Alan, you can't say the whole idea. Why if not? If he's watching it. <laughs> what? No, this is the perfect pitch. So the idea is that like, I want to figure out the psychology of snakes. So it's like, so I found an animal psychologist and it cuts to him, Caesar Milan. And I just asked him, like, so do you like, do you think snakes want their legs back? And then his response is essentially just something along the lines of like, think. like <laughs> do snakes think? And it's just, I just really do dogs, man. And it just cuts away. That's the entire camera. You're turning the snake into a dog. <laughs> turning a lizard. snakes back into no, dogs. In- <laughs> I'm excited for this video. Alan showed us a clip of a snake walking, and by God. You know what? I, I was talking like, to you know Ian about it because we've sort of been working on videos, trying to do more uh-huh. stuff for our channel. So we're like, you know, just always talking about YouTube. And I think that that video of, of teaching it or giving a snake its legs back is a video that would have done obscenely well. Like if you a video like that 10 years ago mm-hmm. would have been like mega viral. <laughs> I think it could still Just have some legs. I th- yeah. <laughs> no, Ooh. nowadays trash. But I think ten years I ago. I think that like I just viral. I have this sort of concern that people nowadays just don't maybe get. I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's. I don't know. I'm I'm really curious to see what happens because I feel like it might not be appropriately appreciated. I think the snake meta is strong. <laughs> is it? Days. I think snake meta is where it's at now. Who else is in the meta? <sighs> just me. <laughs> <laughs> you have one other case study. <laughs> the last video you made. <laughs> That one did okay, so... Snakehead did all right, and so now I think it's Snake Meadow. I think so. I, I think I think it'll do well. I, I, I really hope that it does well. I really yeah. hope it does extremely well. I mean, Will did a mock-up for the thumbnail. I really... I think if, I think it's... I would click on it. It looks crazy. It it's a you, snake with robot legs. If it makes you feel better, Alan, if it doesn't do well, I'll uh, I'll promote it. 
Like, Thank you. With money. Like, just pay Th- you. Google <laughs> I'll just pay. Like, you know, I'm going to one up Nigel. If it doesn't do well, I will tell you that I really like it. I, <laughs> yeah. I think that it's, it's very good. Like, I, I really was like gonna it. Lie. I will send it to all of my friends and family. Actually, yeah. wait, how, much, how much money would it actually take if we found, like, some random, like, small YouTuber and just, like, pumped the crap out of one of their videos? Like, ran it as an ad. I Are you allowed to do that? You can, I think. But it's actually kind of, like, mean. Because then the, you could get them to, like, a million views. Uh-huh. But they'll have, like... No one 50 subscribe. comments yeah. and it looks it just looks horrible and huh. so i think it actually a, messes up your like your future ad rates so it's more of a bad thing to do to someone so if you have a lot of money maybe you could like destroy yeah who do we not like could we actually ruin their channel but then ironically all they needed was that exposure <laughs> yeah, and then the channel just takes off <laughs> and like oh and then they then they're then they yeah, they're always in your debt. They're really was, thankful to you, and you're like, oh my there god. There was the dinosaur kid. Oh right. So I, the, a what guy, dinosaur kid? What? Uh, uh, the dinosaur kid. Yeah, on Reddit there was a kid who was just oh, uploading. Oh, I remember this. I, yeah. The yeah. guy who posted that poke my nose. Oh my god, just Chelsea. <laughs> that was awesome. What are you doing? You're like running around like a monkey in yeah. front of the cameras. <laughs> so this guy, this guy that was had a little bit of success on YouTube when I was in college. His channel was Jewel Thief. His name was Alex. I kind of helped him with some stuff. Mm. Um, and I was trying to do my own YouTube thing. And he posted that dinosaur kid to Reddit. Oh, he was the one who he actually was the one who actually posted it. Made dinosaur kid famous. Yes. I'm, I'm like, I'm certain. I'm like 90% certain mm. I could be wrong. I'm, I'm pretty confident though that it was him who posted it. Okay. Because huh. uh, this was a long time ago. The kid's channel got like an obscene amount of attention oh, on YouTube. I remember this, and it's yeah. just like a kid. It's like this little kid who's just mm-hmm. like making videos about like toy dinosaurs. And then everyone sort of was like, yeah, it was like Dinosaur Kid. But then the problem was that Dinosaur Kid didn't actually make good videos and it was sort of more of a meme <laughs> supporting him. Yeah. And it's like, it's wholesome. We're supporting Dinosaur Kid. But it's actually people just like kind of lighting something on fire so in the most wholesome way possible. Yeah. Like a lot of people subbed and everything, but yes. it was just like. And then the kid has a video on the channel where he's like kind of falling apart because he's like, everyone subscribe, but like no one's watching this video. Oh, Jesus. No. That's why like, I tell people anytime anyone has like talked about doing YouTube videos, which they always do, they're like, oh, I want to, you know, do this and that and blah. And it's like, I will never like promote someone or work with somebody unless they are like actively working on something yeah. mm-hmm. because it is a it is you do not want a bunch of attention until you've figured out how to do it yeah. <laughs> that's why shout outs are bad the shout outs are really bad it's like i you do not like i said i avoid even like tagging personal friends and stuff like on mm. Instagram yeah Facebook. because like you do not want that much attention if you're not sort of like prepared or understand the work required to like maintain it because it just right. every time it happens it just sort of it goes badly and it kind of sucks yeah mm-hmm. it also depends like who's giving the shout out because it's like for example if, like jimmy mr beast gives you a shout out a lot like he gave his brother a shout out remember that that whole thing yeah actually it's just like it's every he, you'll he'll be able to mobilize a lot of people but then it's like they get there and they're like hey i'm not that they into this care. content so your sub count goes to like two million but then you get like maybe a few percent, like several percent who stay. <clears throat> and it just feels bad because you're just like, I mean, when when he pumped it, you're getting like two mil a video. Yeah. And then it goes down to like 50K and now you just feel like a failure. But the reality is you were getting, let's say 1K before. You're 50 times better, but it just kind of feels bad. You have like 2 million subs. You're getting feels no like views. Feels like you did something right and then now you're doing something wrong. Yes. It's like, what am I doing differently? You're still better off technically, yeah. but like by the metrics, you you are failing. And you're like by and comparing to how you were doing it, like and you, you know, can't really fix it because they just don't care about you. No, so. you. It's like unless you like really make awesome stuff immediately, yeah. but like. But that's why it's bad to get attention before you figure out how to make yeah. content that people watch. How do you how do you <laughs> feel when you edit something for somebody and it does poorly? Because you, it's not like like because I, I don't look. You don't look because <laughs> that's I, the method. So like, like a lot of people assume like when when John was like when John and I were making videos together which we don't really we don't do anymore uh cameraman john cameraman john he was filming and i was editing but everybody yeah. just assumed that john edited but it's like i've i'm not even a youtuber i'm just an editor actually honestly like mm-hmm. every time like what's that six panel meme where it's like what my parents think i do what society thinks <laughs> what i actually do it's like i just, just i'm sitting in front of the computer yeah, yeah. Literally, i'm literally just an editor like that's my like 
you know, I feel the same way. The bread and butter. Yeah. Like that's if I had to quit being like, you know, like doing YouTube, I would just edit. Mm -hmm. And um, your life would be very similar. Do you still not yeah. have anyone helping? No, it, we, you, Ian, it, we, we have, there's a much healthier pipeline now. There's something about having to do like being the person who's like, you know, on camera and also setting a camera up and then mm. editing and also figuring out how to like, how to make that narrative make sense and be cohesive, like yeah. a good story that when it does poorly, it feels really bad because it's like you did the whole thing yourself. And so I'm curious yeah. of like, if you're just the editor. <laughs> put the blame on. Yeah, exactly. It's like, who am I going to blame? And it's like the Me. guy who did literally every piece of this video. And so when you like edit, how do you feel like, how do you split that kind of feeling up with the person? I mean, still? it's, I don't think it's 50-50 because it is still their video, right? right? So like I'm putting my own touch on it, but I still, it's going through like a filter. So... Mm -hmm. So I don't take it personally. Yeah. <laughs> Except if it does really well. If the video yeah, if does, it does really well, then it's all you. I am the best editor there is. <laughs> I am no. God. <laughs> no, but there is like a filter. So it's like, mm. it's not really my video. Like, yeah, because you're obviously restricted I'm on I'm almost like the, pretending yeah. to be somebody else. You know? Huh. Yeah. So you're almost, it's almost like you're, you're acting through editing. And maybe that's bad. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No, I think like, I, I used to describe it as like putting my editing hat on versus my like filming hat. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you mm -hmm. learn a lot because you get mad at yourself in the past. Like your editor, editor yeah. hat, you gets mad at yeah. you on camera yeah. hat. You were like, why didn't I say this thing? Or why did mm -hmm. I stop filming that? Or why did mm -hmm. I like, that was something I always had problems with, with mm -hmm. John where I'd be like, like any situation where it would get uncomfortable. Like if we were doing something in public, he did not, like he, he does not do well in those situations. Oh, so he would like shy away. He would shy mm -hmm. away. And it's like, it's like, no, like when you're editing, it's like, oh my God, like this is hilarious. Like stuff that feels like kind of cringe mm. in real life because you're violating social norms actually ends up being like really funny on camera. Yeah. And so every time, you, like it's a little bit in the car video too. And I'm like, ah, John, you know, like, cause we're at the car dealer talking to these people and we didn't like plan anything. We just like went there and showed up. Uh, it almost looks like we had like planned with them though because these guys are just like kind of perfect like used car dealers. Yeah. <laughs> we was like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Wait, what did you show up with? Uh, half a car. <laughs> nice. Uh, maybe two thirds of a it's car. It's 50% off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Superior car. And there's a shot where it's like he's talking to me, but he's like right on the edge of the frame and I'm right in the center. It's kind of like you can see John was trying to shy away from me. <laughs> and so yeah. it's, it's like, you know, there's, there's a bunch of stuff you learn sort of doing everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you definitely, I feel like uh, everyone probably learns ways to sort of like adjust the ways they talk when the camera's on. Yeah. Just to make it easier to edit later. Yeah. Um, you learn okay, yeah, you learn so, um, okay, so, um, mm -hmm. okay, so, um, okay, so, 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 it's like mm -hmm. every sentence starts with well, so. Oh, I was gonna say, the thing that I learned is like if you mess something up, you don't look away from the camera. Because Did when you, you start the sentence with so? Did I? I think you did. <laughs> did you? He said if. No. Either way, I don't know. That's good. Yeah. So and all right will ju it's just the death of dialogue is when you're editing, you notice that every single sentence that you mm. you, you get to. So what we've got here. All right. Let's get started. So this is here. All right. Let's try it. There's like this thing Jabril does too that I like. We need, I, I think I give him shit for it. I'm like, don't tell me what you're going to do. Oh, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I know what you're talking about, though, with the looking, because there are a lot of times where I've had to be like, like, oh, I got to like cover that with B-roll where it's like if you restart, but you don't realize that you've like you start the sentence kind of over here and you look back at the camera and you realize like, oh, my God, that or it's like shit. Well, I think the simple things, for example, I mean, this is what I learned is like if you're talking to the camera, like we're going to be not <laughs> will just like rage that. But if you're just, I'm just making him a sentence. He's like, we're going to be doing this. And, and you're like, let's get started. You kind of like pause a bit because what's weird is in editing. If you look away right away, the frame yeah. ends too quickly. Yeah. So you end up have like the frame kind of ends the moment you stop speaking and you're you're screwed. So you have to either learn to like you just mm. keep looking at the camera yeah. like weirdly. The with the, just the, the, the dead, the deadness in your eyes. Yeah, you if you also get that way. If you also get lost <laughs> in what you're saying, you don't look away from the camera. <laughs> Does it uh, it lights? I'm scared for them. <laughs> yes, Nigel, continue talking and then hold on me for a little bit and then switch to him. I'm going to keep looking at this camera, just staring into it. It makes editing easier later for this podcast. You need to be more dead good. in the eyes. Yeah, that's more like it. That's a good frame to cut off of. <laughs> and then you have to look really sad right after. Yeah. Can, can, you, make, yeah. can you make a tear come out? Are you good? I, I try, but I usually fart when I try. To 
hard way to squeeze with tears to come out. I've always wanted. You know how sometimes, like, like a couple of years ago, the big thing was to like kind of like burp to get into a scene. What? what? You know, you were like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always wanted to do that, but just I've fart. never heard just of that. Fucking like fart and then I never, start talking. I never heard I of that. Definitely used to. I, I think I remember getting a comment that said "stop with burp," like because I would just burp. Oh, that's a. I wasn't burping into a shot. It would be like if I just had to burp. I'd... Yeah, in the middle. Of the scene. Well, the burp, the burp was very versatile. You could use it to get into a scene. You could use it to like stop a musical montage. You can like, transition the build halfway through. Like, oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like the burp was, but then it got kind of overused. So I think people don't really go for burps anymore. But I want to try doing it with farts. Yeah. <laughs> bring, bring, like, anyway. <laughs> Bring in farts as like the pace setter for the video. <laughs> do you ever give shit to the uh, the creator that you're working yes. with? Where you're just like, what are you doing? Like, why did you? She just says yes before the question is even done. <laughs> yeah. Just, just yes. Because <laughs> it's like I give myself shit, or it's like, why didn't I do this? Or blah blah blah. Like, it used to be I mean, worse. Like, it, more stuff that I've done now is more just like I can like redo it. And so mm. if I do something I don't like, I can. I mean, it. I do that regardless if it's me or if it's someone else. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just like be like, why? Why? <laughs> why? Why? Like, why? This was is it, is shot it why badly. did you or why did you not? What is the most common? Like, do, do people why? over? Oh, just, just why in general? Sometimes if it's like overexposed, I'll be like, really? Again? <laughs> do you find that over time when you make those complaints that the yeah, problems it works. get fixed? Okay. No, that's, it's constructive very... criticism. I'm not just like yeah. roasting them. No, I'm saying it'd be very frustrating <laughs> when you say it and then the same thing comes yeah. back the next time. That's when you're, that's another why. You're I'm just still like, trying oh. to convince Lewis to get an ND filter. Yeah, Ooh, did you just working. give away one of your clients? It's not working. <laughs> but why, why do you want him to get an ND filter? To not overexpose. To not crank the shutter instead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. High shutter speeds. I shoot everything with a polarizer, which is kind of annoying, but... But it's nice. The problem with the polarizer is if you shoot plastic, it gets rainbowy. Mm, so you have cool. to be. It's a special. Effect. You have to be careful to like. You have to take it on and off if I'm shooting plastic or glass. Sorry. Yeah, rainbow doors. Yeah, I just get bad footage. That's just my solution. It's just not That's, having good footage. You could, no, I mean, we I did. feel like people in this niche should just kind of do that. So <laughs> I think there's something about like having really like kind of like shitty production though that, that it makes does it authentic. You. Yeah, it's more authentic. Like we did. It's it's <laughs> bad, but the badness also makes it good. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I mean. It's like it can't just it's be a very bad. fine line. Like, I have been doing all my green screen with a bed sheet in the garage. <laughs> but it adds it adds character. Yeah. 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 Those yeah, and it's I'm like this one day and I just, they're there. And I'm like, what am I gonna go <laughs> get an actual that. green screen? It's like. No, I mean, you I could also get a bed sheet from the store and not. I bought more sheets. Oh, okay. There you go. No, but it's like, that's green. now my green screen is this like turquoise bed sheet and it does a good enough job <laughs> yeah. of isolating me, but it also looks like shit, which is funny. <laughs> because like, I think that, I think that it works because green screen, either if you do a really good job, it's great, but anything below that is kind of yeah. bad. So if you just embrace it and just make <laughs> it like you're aware it's bad, then it's just. If you embrace it's good. it, no one can get mad at you. Exactly. People, people that do like film <laughs> you, like, and photography it. tend to like do this like scope creep where mm. they're like, oh, better equipment or better mm. this or better that. Or like, I got a green screen, but now I need lights to light it. Yeah, so I'm saying like getting it good is so hard. Right, but it doesn't do anything. And it's like <laughs> YouTube is sort of about a person doing a thing. Yeah. And part of that like True. subconscious, it comes like stems from the video. And if everything looks perfect, it almost looks like you were trying too hard. Mm -hmm. I mean... I feel like I, I used to get comments like that where people were like, was this shot in the wrong frame rate? I'm like, how can you tell? Right. I'm like three That's, off. You don't want that audience. Like, yeah, you, you don't want an audience that's giving you shit about your frame rate. You do the next video you that's do after that nerd, and you shoot so. it in like 10 frames a no. second. <laughs> just, it's like security <laughs> cam footage. Just make it know? worse. The iPhone, or at least one version of the OS, had a, uh, a video format that would change the freaking frame rate. Oh, variable frame rate. Yeah. Ugh. Wait, what well, oh, would be interesting? Can you use for a video? Film it in 30 or film it in 60 yeah. or 120. Be actually good. <laughs> but then render it in 10 <laughs> no. and then use like the one of the algorithms. All oh, the frame interpolation to, to bring it back to bring it up to bring it up to 60. And just have just the whole video. So it's just, just everything's just kind of wrong. messed up. It just looks wrong. I feel like you could train a neural network that way. <laughs> it's like everything's just kind of glitchy and artifact. I think you could li I think you should actually do a video like making fun of like that frame rate comment. I think you should find it and actually like okay well you know what you're right let's just let's get as many frames in here as we can and just I... frame interpolate it all the way. <laughs> Ten thousand. <laughs> What's the max no. frame that YouTube can have? Sixty? I don't know. No, you can do. You can you do can like one twenty. Yeah. I think. Yeah. No, you can do more. I don't think they do. They care. They actually, they theoretically don't have a 
I think Bernard was saying they don't really have a max. They do yeah. have a, They must have a max res. Yeah, I mean, how does the... It just oh, doesn't show up, Polaroid but like you can still... Because <laughs> I, oh. I think... Uh, <laughs> we all pause and like, yeah. like... Like TV, I kind of want to talk about TV more. Like the, it's funny, like Caesar Milan now has fallen down mm-hmm. to our Caesar. level. Yeah, so. yeah. All of them have, like all of the... But no, no, or people. have they just finally made it no, up they're, to our they're, level? They're, <laughs> they're losers they like the rest of us. Because nobody respects YouTube. Everyone respects TV. But I feel like it's like, changing. Yeah. I feel like things are changing. No. I wonder if they're making no, more I money. Mean, if, if you yeah. go by ads, then it's not changing. No, but I I, feel like I... I mean, when... Alan's been around YouTube for a while. Like when I started in 2014, it was embarrassing to tell people you did YouTube. Yeah, it's still like is. people. No, but yeah. it's <laughs> even more yeah, embarrassing. It's like now. Not only no. embarrassing, but it's also cringe. Yeah, it's less no, embarrassing like, when it's a hobby. It's it was way like, more embarrassing when it's your full time job. I, <laughs> when I told people that I did that I post stuff on YouTube, it's like they actually made fun of me. <laughs> And well, we still dude, do. I, yeah. I studied videos in high school. It was awful. No, but people would be like, oh, you post things to the internet? That's that's cool, I guess. <laughs> and like people would go out of their way. to. It's not insulting. It's like super condescending. Mm-hmm. And then I find there was a tipping point where it was like, you would tell people to do YouTube. And they're like, oh, I want to do that too. Can you help me? Like, yeah. it was, it went, <laughs> there was this point in which it was like, cool i bet yeah. you if you talk to people and you told them about editing for youtuber versus editing editing for discovery they'd be more impressed by the discovery thing mm-hmm. even though yeah. the youtube stuff is probably more impressive that like i know my mm-hmm. parents like whenever they bring up discovery yeah. like other adults are like oh old people mm-hmm. suck <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> do but, old people love mr beast yeah. really he was on forbes and now i think he's like oh oh i see i see okay okay but i just want to say i think there is like um uh, maybe with the older generation, they they respect you know the the classic institutions. It just makes more sense. But I feel like people ought like be- between like I'd say like anyone below the age of like forty probably or thirty five. I don't know my perspective. If I heard someone worked for Discovery, I would be like, oh, you have a job. And then it's like, oh, you were an editor for like a YouTuber. I'd be like, oh, you. You're it's unemployed. Like, it's, <laughs> yeah. No, I'd be like, it's like I would be like, oh, you have like a cool like life opportunity potentially. Mm. I mean, some editing jobs for YouTubers is objectively way worse than any More. like institutional job or like any company <laughs> job but i feel like that's i think it has changed like i don't know do you feel at all that way no <laughs> like the opinion that people have they think discovery think is it, always cooler i think with people like younger they'll yeah be like who and if they don't know them then they don't care hmm. so the that's the point is that yeah. tv stems from youtube now where like everything mm-hmm. they do is based on youtube footage like when they make sizzle reels and stuff it's mm-hmm. all from youtube so they're like pulling stuff from youtube they're taking ideas from other people mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like 100 percent. like kevin was the first person to do that rat trap the glue trap right right and then that was on mythbusters jr everybody else copied it mm-hmm. and it's like it's like oh tv is more respectable while also literally having no or very few original ideas also, yeah like who watches like they're old repurposing people. YouTube videos, but yeah. for old people. Yeah. Like it doesn't. <laughs> it's like why? Because there's money in there. I know. You can but take don't the... old people not like YouTube videos? So then why are they like repurposing? Well, they're not even on YouTube. Yeah. Well, they don't even know they don't like. They don't it. know. They don't like <laughs> it. Fundamentally, that means it's good content. It's just not packaged mm. in a way that's but consumable it's like so fast. by boomers. My dad just. Wa- my parents just it. watch a lot of YouTube. My dad will watch it with his like, you know, half a megabit per second down internet. Speed. He's like, I had one twenty p. They haven't changed the price. I'll pay for the slowest one because it's only fifteen dollars a month. And it's like, yeah, how much is your time worth sitting waiting for stuff to load and buffer? It's kind of wild. Like, I'm mean, sorry, just on the internet thing. My grandma, I remember once, um, they were trying to sell her on. It was like, yeah, like twenty dollars a month for like borderline dial up speed. And what she had was thirty dollars a month for high speed. Right. It was like she was getting, let's say, like. 15 megabits a second which isn't great but it's like they were trying to downgrade her to like two or one why would they do that i feel like the but internet... they were like you can save five dollars a month but the bandwidth is basically <laughs> free it seems like they would want to have you on the most expensive plan possible i don't know but they they, they i think they did convince her and she downgraded and oh, then we had to like yeah. oh no sorry it's because the plan that she was on this is where the the, the scam comes in they had cha- she had it for a while so she was getting a better deal than was currently available but if they mm. downgrade her she has to upgrade to a more expensive right. one they when kick her off the like legacy plan yeah when her family's inevitably like that's horrible yeah. and they go sorry that plan wasn't sorry. available anymore sorry they say sorry so weird sorry yeah. sorry well, i was i was mimicking them oh, you're, you mocking, you're, you're mocking <laughs> your grandma you don't normally no swear. i'm saying i'm saying i was mocking the telecom company okay. yeah 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 we're sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Basically that. They do that every time. <laughs> did, did you make... I've been making videos for like 
forever. Same. Did you make videos like in forever? That, that's, the, that's the bizarre thing to me is that like you are much younger than all of us put together. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but it's not bizarre. Even together. It's but you've been doing videos since you were like like in high school. A fetus. I've been doing videos. Like Wait, how old are you? Twenty three. Twenty three. Okay, you were probably in elementary school. Do you remember nine eleven? I was two. So do you remember it? <laughs> <laughs> nope, she doesn't remember. I, so I started making videos oh, no. in like like really bad ones in middle school, like only a couple, and I started really making videos in high school. Like when did you start? Did you start in Three, middle school? No. I mean, I didn't post anything in middle school, but, but you I was made making videos. stuff. What yeah. about elementary school? I don't think I had access to a camera. But in middle school, that. you did. Yeah. Because I was thinking like when YouTube was sort of really starting, I was in high school. Yeah. And so I started making videos. Because there was like Flash as well. So I like made some animations and mm. stuff and then started making videos. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself that like I started in high school, but somebody in middle school at the same time probably also would have started. And mm. then they have like a huge sort of like lead because they're starting yeah. even younger. Like it's kind of weird where it's like I didn't start younger because there was nothing to start. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It started, wasn't 2006? Five. No, it's six. I think. What? I think it's officially. I think it's five, mm. six, kind of. But the uh, it, it's it, we also had like it wasn't even just that YouTube didn't exist. It's that like technologically that it just wasn't there. Yeah. Like yeah. I got my I think when I was six, fifteen or sixteen. So that was like two thousand six or seven. I, I I bought a video camera, and it's like before that you didn't have a cell phone to take video. Yeah. Like there wasn't. Mm. Or you could. I remember my friend had the first cell phone that took a video, but it was straight up 120p. But like, I bought a, a camera that did 480p. Right. And it's like, whoa, I can actually like videotape stuff. Mm -hmm. I used to make videos on my laptop, like webcam. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no. That was the, fir the first videos I ever made were stop motion <laughs> videos. Of oh, my, I did that too. Of my Beast Wars figures. Yeah. What? Beast Wars. Yeah, They're like Transformers yeah. animals. Yeah. Oh and I, I actually, I uploaded one onto YouTube, I think around 2005, 2006, I got like 30,000 views. What? But it was on my friend's account and he deleted it later. No. So that video no longer exists. But it's like, it's just trash. And what, did you, what did you record it on? A webcam. Oh, it was webcam. a webcam and like some special software that I got that where you could just stitch together like individual <laughs> shots into yeah. a video. I would do, I would like record on my DV camera. For like, I'd record and stuff. Oh, you would actually do I, I think no. it might have had like a single frame. I think I did that too. Yeah, That's I did on tape. I have all the tapes. I should, I should. <laughs> Your old stop motion yes. videos. I should capture all that stuff. <laughs> I that made, would be hilarious. Because I did claymation as well. <laughs> and I think I connected the camera with like the the three, like the uh, the red, yellow, and white wires. The, uh, it's like the Nintendo 64 plugs. Which plug? Oh yeah, plugs, the like red, those razors white, and stuff. And the RCA, RCA, oh, RCA yeah. plugs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's RCA, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I remember, I, I think I did do that. My dad had something that you could like. I, Cause I made claymations, and I'm pretty sure we used the home, like my dad's video camera, which was all tape. Did ever so? Wait, did everyone here at one point make stop motion videos? I think I I did with my I didn't brother. Go, I for didn't sure. have the stop motion phase. You did? I didn't. You didn't. No. You should start it. Well, I, <laughs> start I, I made stick <laughs> animations no. too. That means that, that she was passage? just like a no. little bit <laughs> like too late for like the claymation <laughs> really? stuff because like that was really popular. That was it. Early internet. Oh, and, and the so stick animation. Do you remember like, who was it that? Remember those the claymation? I don't even remember. Was it on Newgrounds of like the little blue? Yes, people? yes. Yeah. That's what I'm those? talking about. The the little the little blue, little blue guy people. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was huge back in the day. What? What happened to the little blue people? They no. must have dried up by now. That's like a decade old. They're not relevant when anymore. When you're watching an old movie with, with a, like, you're watching Air Bud and you're like, wow, that dog definitely died like 10 years ago yeah. at least. Well, all 10 of the dogs. <laughs> Don't yeah. say that. Do you know that when they had the dog doing stunts, it would die every time? No. Had, there's a whole line of dogs in the behind the scene. They're it's like dogs. the, uh, what's that's the, a fact. the Hugh yeah, Jackson yeah. movie? Yeah. The what? The Hugh Jackman movie where he's prestige. like the the prestige. prestige. Yeah. Oh yeah, but with dogs. But with dogs. <laughs> tanks and tanks full yeah. of dead dogs Jesus. in the backstage of Airbud. <laughs> yeah, Airbud yeah. Airbud was a, a catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> That dog is, has no. been dead for over twenty years. Yeah, that dog's not just dead; it's that, like giga dead. Do you think that the dog? The it, do you think? Do you think they cremated it? Do you think it's buried somewhere? Do you think the bones oh, are yeah. still there? The they stuffed it and stuck it inside <laughs> of the Warner Brothers Museum. It's part of the, What's like, it called when they <laughs> stuff it with like back on tour? Is taxidermy. The taxidermy yeah. Yeah. Air yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, mid mid like jump to get to a basketball. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. <laughs> they didn't pay enough though, and it's kind of a little weird. No. <laughs> <laughs> they have all the cars. They're that should be a stuff made here video, like a robot Air yes. Bud that will always assist you in a basketball into the hoop. You're, you're giving, you're giving yeah, him stuff. That's a good idea, Shane. Shane, if you're watching this he right now, he does watch this podcast. I know he he absolutely watches this podcast. Taxidermied Everybody dog. watches this podcast. It's a taxidermied robot dog. You throw it a basketball, it always hits it into the hoop with its nose. <laughs> yes. If you don't do this, nobody will. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Bully people who are doing videos for us. <laughs> That would be great to watch, so you should do it. Yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> but I only want to see it if you do it. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 uh, I think that, like, YouTube is so much better than TV. Like, are there old TV shows that you used to watch that you, like, looked back on later? I didn't watch any TV in... <sighs> Adult. Yeah, also, what is an old TV show for her to be something from like, <laughs> no, the I, ten, like from 2015? Like, oh, yeah, um, that really old show, How I Met TV. Your Mother. Because you would have been like six when YouTube yeah. kind of started. Oh my God. <laughs> what? A whole different generation. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, you, you didn't miss out on anything. Eight. TV, it's, it's, it's insane to think that on TV, it is totally normal and accepted for a 30 minute episode. To be 21, 22 minutes of content, yes, and then eight to nine minutes of commercials. If yeah. that it's happened literally on more than YouTube, a third, yeah. people would actually people... they would come and find us and kill us. Yeah, they would actually eat our guts. Well, I was gonna they would say kill us and eat us. I was gonna say that's the problem with Kevin's video. They saw it. They go, we love it. There's not enough ads. <laughs> so they're like, how do we build ads? How do into we make this? more than a third of this? Into <laughs> yeah, ads? I yeah. think <laughs> that's what frustrates me the most. Is like I feel like the videos that I have to make now on YouTube have to be like like focused and faster to get to the point and like like to deliver on the expectation that people had coming into it where it's like mm -hmm. if you don't immediately start satisfying the viewer you get punished like the video will not get pushed out to a generic yeah. audience which means you're not going to get any views and subscribers don't really mean anything um but on tv it's like the exact opposite it's like how do we make it as slow as possible and then we fill it up with ads and like yeah. youtube is like you only get a couple ads and you have to be as fast <laughs> as possible it's like it's like the the what's like it's like the crack cocaine of what wait what's i actually don't know the difference between <laughs> this is a great it's like comparison. it's like the methamphetamine to to slow release adderall it's like the hard drug is what i'm trying to say I've uh, I've only had one of those two things, so I don't I don't know the how math? to compare math that. Math actually, yeah, <laughs> that was, was a science was, study. I was a lab oh, rat. Wait, so they... wait, actually, oh, yeah, yeah. I heard this story. You got math? Yeah. Well, it was it was medical it was, grade. Yeah, it was it was just medical it was, grade. It, 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 oh, amphetamine yeah. in a laboratory environment. Yeah. So it was the the that's, study. That's still badass. The study <laughs> was to see sort of. Actually, I don't really remember. Alan sold his body. Oh, oh, no. Like, oh, no, no. I, I, Alan, I, I, Alan sold his body anything. to science long before he died. <laughs> <laughs> it was, a, uh, I think, a, on a, an addiction study. So basically, they gave us amphetamines, put us in a hospital bed, okay. and just like gave us surveys every like 30 minutes, I to think. To see how, if you got addicted? Ask us how much we were enjoying what we were on. And they, they totally didn't tell us what we were taking, um, but I remember they said us, we, we were in a hospital Are bed. Are you sure it wasn't the placebo? No, they because they, they disclosed after they're like, yeah, we gave you amphetamines. Oh. <laughs> which I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. Because <laughs> 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 the, 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 the like because like they were just looking for how you felt the sort of acti they had an activity where you would just you they gave you a laptop and you just had to watch Plant Earth for like six hours. Okay. And I just remember I I could not concentrate on anything. <laughs> like I could I physically just could not watch Planet Earth. And instead, it was so bad because they left. They let us keep our cell phones. I just started like, like meth texting one of my exes. It was really, really bad. <laughs> meth texting. Yeah, it meth was. Text. It was. <laughs> meth. I I I was just texting just the most bizarre misspelled. <laughs> like every two seconds, it was bad. Yeah, she'll know what I'm saying. I don't yeah. gotta correct it. <laughs> so the way I, the only way I can I've come up to describe it is it's like my entire like emotional capacity as a human entity was replaced with the word go. So I was just, what am I doing? I got to I got to tell this, I got to tell this, oh, play it, I don't know what's going on. Oh, there's a survey, I got to do the survey. Yeah. It was like that for an entire day. <laughs> and then at the end, they're like, yeah, we gave you amphetamines. It's like, like, I got all oh, my okay. work done, but it was done so poorly <laughs> yeah. that I had to do it again. <laughs> I worked in my whole house and it's like... And Anyways, there's a pile of car radios I pulled out of my... <laughs> <laughs> the study was, how many car radios can you pull out of a junkyard? <laughs> 
know, they don't even tell you a joke. Yet. They just like they tell you to just go out on the street that the clinic is up. This is like a grad student. Like, wait, I got a great idea for a side business. <laughs> Let's get people on meth and just get them to get us car radios and we'll sell. Them. If we could do videos that we can't do, I would definitely do. Who can take car radios out faster? People on meth or not on meth? <laughs> the question everyone wants to know. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, have you, you ever, ever taken drugs, Audrey? Have you ever taken meth? <laughs> All I could think about was that. I'm like, yes, we get to ask Audrey if he's ever done drugs. <laughs> What's the hardest drug you've ever done, Audrey? And how many times have you done it? Are you on any drugs right now? Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to get canceled on this podcast. That's, well, I mean, that's the entire that's point the of this podcast. Yeah. That's the entire point. <laughs> the answer is no, right? A huge My- catalog of things people can come back and see. Look at they one time they said that one thing. <laughs> I'm on a lot right now. Well, you got it because you can make your own. I mean, oh, caffeine. I had some. There you go. There you go. You on the caffeine, Audrey? I don't like coffee. The taste? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. I like tea. I like tea too. How do you like edit coffee. that? <laughs> I just don't sleep. Mm, interesting. interesting. Mm, writing, these are interesting. Huh? <laughs> Taking notes. I feel like... I should try meth for editing. Yeah. That would... Oh, it would be like... you know, Remember the old drug video of like the spider yeah. on different drugs? You should... You should I know exactly yes, what Yes, different drugs. Edit a clip like oh my five God. times on five different drugs. There's a video. That's a good video. There's a video. YouTube yeah. does. I feel like they'd all be bad, uh, except for the sober <laughs> one. They'd all be bad in their they just own get way. Progress- or they get progressively better. <laughs> I Can you definitely... imagine like, being on Quaaludes and just like, <laughs> trying to edit something, anything, while you're like, uh. You're just not even looking at the screen. Yeah. <laughs> just on the floor. <laughs> You're like uh, okay, so anyways, this is the this is when I took Quaaludes. There's nothing to show though, because it's just five minutes like, of black. So we're we'll gonna skip that one. Has anyone edited like on like a lot of acid? Because like you wouldn't even be like, there's no way your cut anything would be accurate, right? <laughs> I bet I think you it'd be great. that most of the content that was on Adult Swim was yeah. just all on drugs. Yeah. That was probably a, like something they had to do. In order yeah, to- yeah. Like oh, I kept to edit. I'm going to do the acid now. They do a drug test on you every week to make sure, <laughs> to make sure, sure you're on drugs. drugs. Yeah. You have to check at least three boxes and you're fired. Whoa, buddy, you're looking a little low here. <laughs> a little dry. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> the guy's trying to cheat by like eating more poppy seeds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for coming on our podcast. <laughs> Um, I learned so much. I'm so glad to hear that. And uh, like what meth is like. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's just, well, it's the word go. They, they didn't it's say it the was. Go. They just said amphetamine. They did just say amphetamine. That no. could mean but... one of many things, but it probably was meth. Yeah. I mean, they just straight up said amphetamine. So I just assumed that the meth was the <laughs> prefix there. <laughs> and then it just ends. Nice. <laughs> That's just how it ends. <laughs>